Hey, welcome back. Now today we're gonna to explore a new area of Microsoft Excel with Copilot, the sorting and filtering feature. Now I know many of you are familiar with sorting and filtering, so just a quick explanation if you're new to Excel. Now, my name's Victor Cuevas and I'm the founder of the Knowledge Jar. In this channel, you learn about how to use AI for your business, job, or personal use. I appreciate like and subscribe to help get the video out to others and also check out the free resources in the comments in below. Now, sorting in Excel helps you arrange your data in a specific order. This can be alphabetically, numerically, or by type. Now, for example, you can sort a list of names from A to Z or arrange sales figures from highest to lowest. Filtering helps you focus on a specific data by temporarily hiding the data that does not meet requirements. For instance, if you have a list of all your products, filtering out allows you to view only those that are in stock or belong to a certain category. Let's check out some examples in Excel. All right, let's check out some examples in Excel. Here in Excel, we're gonna explore our first prompt. We're gonna sort the employee's date of birth from youngest to oldest. So on the ribbon, I'm gonna click on the co-pilot button to enable it. Now it's enabled in the prompt window. I'm gonna enter sort the date of birth column from youngest to oldest, and I'll go ahead and hit execute. Not doing any video editing here because I do wanna demonstrate how long this task takes. We're gonna have to wait for the generation to complete. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up. And you can see, apply a custom sort on column date of birth in table employees. So I'll hit apply. And it did the job, but if I just click the filter option and then I clicked on oldest to newest, it's 10 times faster. So I just wanted to highlight this as there's some tasks that may not require copilot. This was an example of sorting. Now let's check out an example on filtering. I'm gonna scroll over here to the right and we're gonna use the raise copilot column. Let's find out the top 10 employees receiving the highest raise. Now, if I didn't wanna type the request in the prompt, I can use the microphone feature. So click the little microphone. Filter the top 10 employees by the raise copilot column. Okay, I'll hit execute. All right, I'll hit apply. Let me see here. Apply a top 10 filter on raise copilot of table employees. Okay. Apply. All right, Copilot provided the right results. And I can go here, hit sort from largest to smallest. Okay, now it's in order. And this is good, but I do want to spotlight some example challenges that Copilot has with filtering. Now, if I wanted to filter by the bottom 10, quite honestly, this task is harder than you think. Let me show you how I first approached it. I'm going to go ahead and click clear filters. Now, the obvious way I thought was click on the little button and maybe number filters, top 10, and then drop down, bottom. So bottom 10 items, okay? And okay, well, it brought zeros. Okay, so let me clear filters. And now I'm gonna uncheck the zero, number filters, top 10 again, bottom. Still right, having problems, so I'll clear this. So this was just a little wonky. Now, if I was pressed for time, I would just use the quick and dirty method. I would just copy, add another sheet, paste, head over to my column, sort from smallest to largest, I'd filter on zero, okay? Delete all these rows, delete, all right? Clear this filter. Now, I would say number of filters, top 10, and make that bottom. Great, got our answer. Then delete this. So now let's see if Copilot can solve this. I can ask Copilot to filter by the bottom 10. So in the prompt window, I'm gonna ask those are the bottom 10 employees by the raise Copilot column. Execute. All right, apply bottom 10. Okay, apply. Ah, same result, gain all these zeros. So I'll hit undo and add another prompt. Those are the bottom 10 employees by the raise Copilot column. Make sure to exclude cells that contain a value less than one. I'll hit execute, scroll up. You can see apply the bottom 10 filter and another filter to raise Copilot to show only rows where the value is greater than one. I'll just hit apply. As you can see, still more than 10 rows. Hit undo. So no solution here. Something I can probably ask Microsoft to look into. So this highlights Copilot is good, but there's still work to be done. Let's cover sorting and filtering. Next, we're gonna cover highlighting data. See you in the next lesson.